Hi, my name is Tiffany. I met Dr. Bogle this semester, and I must say he is one of my favorite teachers. I, as a student and aspiring lifetime learner, love to see a teacher who not only talks the talk, but walks the walk. He knows what he's talking about, and he's also out in the world doing things with the knowledge, and I really appreciate that because he gives a great example on how to do it. For Dr. Mike Bogle to give what he has learned to us is special. And I've learned so much and I'm, I'm doing so much. And I really appreciate him because he didn't have to give back to us. He could have went to Hollywood and really done his thing. But we're really appreciative of all the things he do. Um, he, he, he not just only teach us just music, but he teach us life. I just wanted to say that I'm very thankful that I got to meet a person like Dr. Bogle in my learning. You know, he's been very patient with me, very kind, you know. And a lot of times, you know, people on certain levels with certain types of knowledge, you know, it's hard for them to communicate with you because they, you know, it take, I don't know, to be a genius, it's kind of hard to communicate to certain people. But he still manages to be a genius on that level and communicate with me. I grew up playing classical, and my first uh, encounter with jazz on a certain level was with Dr. Bogle. And he, made, he broke it down in a way where I could understand it. He, uh, he has a system where he uses uh, chords in a way, and he relates it to flavors, like it's chocolate, uh, strawberry, stuff like that, but it stuck. It stuck with me, and it made sense, you know. And to be honest with you, you know, it took my plan to a whole nother level. The way he broke down composition to me is in a way that I never, never had it uh, broken down to me either. So I just want to say that, you know, I'm thankful. I knew very little about music software prior to coming to Cedar Valley, taking Mike Bogle's class. And I can now sit down at a workstation and do anything I need to do. That's a gift. I love this place. Thank you, Dr. B. You rock. I uh, hire students as roadies and uh, things on uh, real life, you know, gigs and things that I play. So I think it really helps to get them out there, and um, they can even, you know, make some extra money and uh, and see firsthand what the music industry is really all about. Many music teachers are spending anywhere from five or six hundred dollars to uh, five or six thousand dollars or more per year out of their pocket. Um, just to keep their classroom running and to do all the things that they need to do. So my nonprofit seeks to help with some assistance for teachers in those areas, as well as helping students with certain disabilities like Asperger's syndrome and even attention deficit disorder and blindness uh, that have a connection to music. When I lost my sight, Dr. Bogle was my instructor. And one of the things that really strikes me about my experience with him was how much he kept me engaged in the process, even though I was going through a critical medical issue, and helped honor the fact that though I could no longer see, I was still a musician. Later on, he also helped to further nurture my interest in instructional design. Also, um, dementia and how um, music can help bring back these memories and, and, uh, and help, you know, the, the brain as it's aging. So it's something that, uh, that I'm really into researching. And how is our instruction rel uh, uh, relevant to the students and what they're going to do after they graduate from here? And how are they going to make a living and make a life in music? 